वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस दी आईसो प्रॉफिट मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम आईसो प्रॉफिट मेथड इज द मेथड ऑफ मैक्सिमाइजिंग the profit function now when we are given an objective function z equal to ax plus by If an arbitrarily chosen fixed value k is assigned to the objective function z, that is z equal to a x plus b y is equal to k, where this k is some arbitrarily chosen fixed value. Then this z equal to a x plus b y equal to k represents a straight line, and every point on this line gives the same value. Of z. So the straight line is called iso profit line. We know that iso means the same. And for different values of z, we obtain different lines. So, for different values of z, we obtain a family of. Also, profit lines, which are parallel to each other. Let us now consider an example of a linear programming problem to be solved by the iso profit method. The problem is to maximize. The profit function given by z equal to 50x plus 15y, subject to the constraints given by x plus y less than equal to 60. 5x plus y less than equal to 100, and the non-negative constraints x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0. Let us try solving this problem by the iso profit method. For this, our first step is to find the feasible region. Of the given linear programming problem. Now, to find the feasible region, we need to graph these constraints, and the common region determined by these constraints would give us the feasible region. After graphing the constraints, we get this shaded region, that is the common region determined by all the constraints, and this shaded region is the feasible region. That is the region O C A D O, in 
of the feasible region. Now in the next step, we assign a convenient value to Z and draw that line. We have the objective function or you can say the profit function Z equal to 50x plus 15y and we give a constant value to this objective function Z. So let 50x plus 15y be equal to 150 which is the common multiple of both 50 and 15 or you can say 10x plus 3y is equal to 30. Let us now graph this straight line 10x plus 3y equal to 30. Let this equation be equation 1. We have graphed this equation and we get the straight line P1, Q1. So the line P1, Q1 represents the equation 1. Now as the objective function is of maximization type, so we will draw lines parallel to this line 1. So next we would take the objective function that is 50x plus 15y equal to a constant value say 300 or you can say this equation is 10x plus 3y is equal to 60. Let this be equation 2 and now we will graph this equation 2 to obtain a straight line parallel to the line P1, Q1. So we have obtained a straight line P2, Q2 which represents the equation 2 that is line P2Q2 represents the equation 2 and this line is drawn parallel to the line P1Q1. Now we will find a line which is farthest from the origin since the problem is of the maximization type and that line should have at least one point common to the feasible region. That means we have to draw some more lines parallel to the line P1, Q1 and from those parallel lines we would find the farthest line from the origin and it should also have a point common to the feasible region. As you can see, we get this line P4, Q4. This line P4, Q4 is parallel to the line P1, Q1 and is farthest from the origin with the point A that is this point with coordinates 10, 50 common to the feasible region. As you can see this point A is common to the feasible region and the point A lies on the line P4, Q4 which is the line farthest from the origin and so we say the point A with coordinates 10, 15 gives the maximum value of the objective function Z. Hence, we have the optimal solution is x equal to 10 and y equal to 50 
and the optimal value of z is given by substituting the values of x and y as 10 and 50 respectively in the objective function z. So optimal value of z is equal to 50 into 10 plus 15 into 50 and this is equal to 500 plus 750 which gives us the value of z as 1250. So we have the optimal value of the objective function z is equal to 1250. Optimal value or you can say the maximum value of z. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the isoprofit method of solving a linear programming problem.